Fentanyl is an opioid similar to morphine, but much more potent. 100 micrograms of fentanyl can produce the same effects as 10 milligrams of morphine, that is 100 times more potent than morphine. You may have heard of fentanyl because it has become a common cause of opioid-related deaths in North America. So, let's talk about fentanyl today. I prepared a handout about opioids for pain. If you want to download it, go to my website www.drandreafurlan.com slash medications. Fentanyl is largely used in hospital as a complementary medication to anesthesia. It can be used before regional or general anesthesia as a sedative. It can also be used during surgery or after surgery for pain control. In severe cases of acute pain, like to reduce a fracture or to extract some objects from patients, it can be used as a quick painkiller as it has a very short duration of action. Fentanyl is typically given by an injection, like in the veins or in the muscles. There are some forms of fentanyl in a skin patch, intranasal or as a buccal soluble thin film. The fentanyl patch was developed by sophisticated engineering, and although fentanyl is a short-acting opioid, the patch releases the fentanyl very slowly in the skin. Therefore, it may last up to 72 hours. This was developed to treat people with chronic pain. For example, if a person was taking opioids by mouth for a chronic pain problem, they would have to take many tablets per day and they could have a stomach upset. But then the doctor switches them to a fentanyl patch, they change the patch every three days and don't need to take pills or capsules anymore. Although this seems like a great idea, there has been many problems of people who needed a higher dose of fentanyl patch. And the doctors may have started with a 25 microgram per hour patch and started increasing the dose of the patch because the person would develop tolerance. And they needed a higher dose to achieve the same effects. In this case, the doctor might have increased to 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. The problem is that this is a very high dose of fentanyl. For example, if the person is using a fentanyl patch of 100 micrograms per hour, this is equivalent of taking 400 milligrams of morphine per day, or the equivalent of taking 53 tablets of oxycodone 5 milligrams per day. If you don't know what this means, oxycodone 5 milligrams is what a person will receive in an emergency situation if they are having a severe acute pain, like passing a kidney stone or having an appendicitis. Fentanyl is safe if given by an anesthesiologist during anesthesia. The problem is when it's used to treat chronic pain like low back pain, neck pain, arthritis, headaches, fibromyalgia, and many others. It just masks the pain, causes a lot of side effects, and the person will rarely engage in exercises or mind-body therapies because they are sedated, fatigued, and tired. The most common side effects of fentanyl include confusion, drowsiness, nausea, visual problems, hallucinations, delirium, constipation, low blood pressure, and may cause euphoria. Fentanyl has been used illegally and sold to people who are dependent on opioids. Many times, they don't even know they are buying fentanyl, as it may be laced with other like heroin or other opioids. Patients who use fentanyl should have a naloxone kit and inform that their family members or friends how to use it in case they are found intoxicated. Naloxone is an opioid antidote and may save the person's life if applied quickly. However, because fentanyl is so potent, the person may need various applications until the paramedics arrive. Let me remind you that this video is not intended to provide medical advice. It is for educational purposes only. If you have a medical condition that requires treatment, please talk to your doctor to get a treatment plan for you. 
And if there is any emergency, please go to the nearest emergency department or call an ambulance. If you know someone who uses fentanyl, send this video to them. There is a share button here. Here are other videos from my channel that you can watch. See you next time. Goodbye.